Looking so, so like a rose Happy I ready now for this pose yeah. I'ma show you how Baby do it slow and I be like Woo! Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Loop Masters and it's time for another quick Ableton Live tip. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beat around an acapella using some of the drum kits and free live packs that you can get from Ableton themselves. So I was actually on Loop Masters the other day and this is a brand new pack that came out called Vocals with Attitude. And it's got some really like next level vocals in here. Let's just take a listen. You can try your life. Okay, so it was this vocal here at the end. I was like, oh man, that is so dope. I want to try to make a track around it. So I got the pack. It's called Vocals with Attitude. It's by us here at Loop Masters. I'm going to leave a link in the video description if you want to check out the pack. But what I did was downloaded uh, that particular track. It came with four vocal parts. If I look right here inside of the vocals, um, it came with some, you know, some ad libs here. It came with the full vocal part with the hook and a verse and then it had some other vocal effects and then it had another vocal part right here which is kind of like a lead so it came with all of that so it's really ready for me to make a track and the way i like to do things sometimes if i'm not really getting things right off the bat is just to experiment with some of the ableton live drum kits and packs that you can get uh, inside of ableton live 10 you can actually download packs right inside of the packs area so if i click packs here you can see these are the packs i've downloaded i have 45 other ones available I'll just come in here and click one it will download and install and I'll be able to use it. Depending on which version of live you have, it's gonna make a difference on which packs you have available, but each one can be purchased one at a time if you don't have it. I have the full suite, so I get all of these packs for free. Uh, there's a couple in here that I paid for, but you know, whatever, That's so this is where it is. But what I wanna show you is this Concrete Breaks pack, and I'm pretty sure if you have the suite, you get it for free, and maybe on some other versions as well, but if you can, grab it, because it's absolutely phenomenal, it's really old. But if I'm gonna just uh, take this clip inside of the clips here, and I'm gonna take this Bonobo, and just drag it and drop it. Now, when I do that, it's gonna give me some MIDI, it's gonna give me a drum kit, and a bunch of effects. So if I go ahead and solo this. <laughs> So right off the bat, super dope. But what I like to do is just take this MIDI that's kind of in a percussive style layout or rhythm and then drop in a different drum kit onto it. So for this, what I did was just go ahead and deleted everything. So now I just have the MIDI and I came over here to drums and then came up here to the search bar and just hit feet, feet peak kit and then just drag that on there and went ahead and played that to see Check it out. Okay, so I've literally done very, very little here. I just took a random MIDI pattern, put a random drum kit on it, and it's really, really dope in terms of percussion. It's really sparse, and if I play that together with the vocals, come over here to where the actual vocal part is. Let's loop this. If you highlight Control L, you'll loop that section. So let's just go ahead and listen to the vocals with just this kind of broken beat. My skin so so like a rose. Happy I read enough for this pose. Yeah. I'ma show you how. Baby, do it slow and I'll be out. like, woo! All right. Uh, so we can actually go a bit further. So I come back into the packs. And this is literally what I did, guys. I'm not even just making this up for the tutorial. This is how I made the beat you heard at the beginning of this video. So I came down here, and you know, if you just click on these, they'll give you a preview of what it's gonna sound like. Okay, so now I've got this footwork one. I knew I needed some regular style drums with a kick and a snare to fill out this kind of broken beat here. So I took the footwork, I drag and drop it onto its own channel. And if I go ahead and solo that and play it. 
It sounds pretty cool. And if I go ahead and play that with the broken beat. I'm getting some really cool results, but I don't want to just take this and use it. I want to, again, change out the drums. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave all of these effects. So I'm going to come back into Ableton Live's stock drums here, and I'm going to come down or search for PL for plastic, and I've got the plastic kit. I'm going to drag and drop it over the drum kit here. And what this is going to do is replace the drum kit, but keep those effects. And if I go ahead and solo it now, I've got something completely different and by way of the fact that these different cells have different style percussion in there, we're getting a different vibe to it. So if I play those both together now, we're getting really close to what I had. I obviously want to come in and find wherever there's a kick. And actually, if I come in here to the MIDI, you'll see that this is F4, E4. All of this MIDI is not being used. Um, I could take that and move it down to where there are actually percussion hits and trigger them that way, but I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is come down here to where it says Kick Peat and delete it because I don't want to double up. I've got my kick in this footwork part. And from there, I just need to go in and nitpick. If there's a certain sound I don't like or I want in a different position, I can just easily come here and move it around. And that's what I did for the track itself. So if I delete these and then just come up here and play you uh, the drums section that I had doing that exact method, this is what the drums came out to be. Check it out. So a really dope drum kit that took me effort-wise very, very little. But I mean, you're not gonna be able to hear that anywhere else because of the way I'm mixing and matching different drum kits with different MIDI and then just moving things around to taste. That's all I really wanted to share with you. Using the packs and the MIDI that ship with Ableton Live, you can get some really incredible results. The quality of those things is just next level. That combined with a vocal from Loop Masters and you've got the beginnings of a really nice track. If you wanna head over to Plugin Boutique, I actually showed you how to get the glitchy sound effects for this particular one here. If I come over to uh, I use FabFilter Saturn to add a little bit of glitch to that percussion. And I also did a tutorial on how to make this bass right here. So I mean that bass with these drums, and I mean we're we're really cooking with power. That with those vocals. My skin so so like a rose. Happy already enough for this pose. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I generate ideas inside Ableton Live, just using stock clips and drums and so on and so forth. It's really easy and you get some insane results, just insane. I highly suggest checking out that vocal pack if you can. Links to everything in the video description as always. I'm Joshua Casper here for Loop Masters. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Check it out.